good morning. Um, I'm outside just having a good wee stroll. I thought I'd do the video outside today. Okay, so today I want to talk about time. Time seems to be a really big factor in everybody's life. Obviously, we're working, we're juggling family, we're juggling, you know, study, so many things every day we're juggling. So finding time for your fitness can be an issue, but try not to think about it as it being a problem. Look at it from another perspective that is something that you're going to put into your daily chores. Okay, so like when you wake up in the morning, you have your breakfast, you get the kids ready to school, or you go to work, whatever it is you do, you guys say to yourself, right, I just need to find 30 minutes out of my day to get my workout done. Now, whether, whether you prefer to go to the gym or whether it's easier to work out in the house, whatever your choice is of how you want to do your workout, you just need to find a 30 minute slot. Now, if you're a mother and you're finding it difficult, which is a lot of the time, you're running around and doing so much and you're just tired as well. Now, the reason you're tired is because you, there's no exercise in your life, okay? You're not, you're not getting your heart rate up. You're not pushing yourself. So if you continuously not exercise, that will just continuously get worse. You get more tired, okay? But we all know this anyway. So as a mother, I would say to you, you want to get into fitness again. I would just start with 15 minutes daily, okay? Find 15 minutes. Do it with the children. Make it fun. Don't make it like, oh God, it's a tour. Make it like, you know, we're going to do some burpees, for example. And you do it with the kids and you know what? They love it. You do a plank. Before you know it, the little one will crawl on your back. You know, do push-ups, whatever. You know, get a quick wee 15-minute routine going. That gets your heart rate going. Believe it or not, you will start feeling better for it. The first week's hardest, but once you pass through that first week, you will really start enjoying it, okay? So don't look at fitness thinking, God, I need hours. You know, 30 minutes is more than ample, four or five times a week. You know, get your, get, do it out. Go for a nice walk. It doesn't even need to be like really high intensity. It can be a nice brisk walk. You know, you can take, do it in your lunch break. The days that you, you know, if you've got a gym that's close to you, jump in the gym for that 30 minutes that, and then go and get your lunch after it. If you're, you know, in the morning, if you're a morning person, get up that extra 30 minutes early, get to the gym, you know, an hour early, get it done. Try not to, time is always going to be an issue. It's just about being sensible with your time and saying, right, okay, I just need to find 30 minutes in my day or, you know, every second day and hour. You know, try and make it so that it fits into your life as opposed to making it difficult. So if you can't get out, you do it in the house, yeah? If, you, if you, um, you're working all the time, you've got to make a time, uh, morning, lunchtime, or after dinner, whatever suits you. Be flexible, you know? Don't, don't make it into a chore. Don't make it into a, a, you know, I must do it and, you know, start being guilty for it. When you make it fun, when you make it part of your life, you start to enjoy it. Okay, thank you for today. Take care, guys. Have a great day.